The lesson that we're going to work on today is a kindergarten lesson. It's on pattern. So I'll go over quickly the um, materials that you need to have. So this one will start out with a worksheet. It is all about pattern worksheet. And then also these fish are going to be used and each student needs one of the fish. This is how it, this is how it prints out. Um, blue construction paper, crayons or markers, glue stick, um, blue and white tempera paint, scissors, and then also anything that could be used as a stamp to make a ring. So anything, objects around the house, toilet paper rolls, this is a little medicine cup, um, a lid to, you know, just whatever you have around the house. These are also great, like the, when you have some dried out markers, if you save the lids, these work too. So you might want to be keeping in mind the week you're doing your project just to start gathering. You'll want a few different sizes for each table of students. So just something to keep in mind. And that is um, about it. So we'll get started. The first thing you want to do with this lesson is use the pattern worksheet to talk to the kindergartners about what pattern is, um, that a pattern is a design that repeats over and over. Usually in kindergarten, they've talked about pattern a little bit. They've learned pattern, you know, A, B, A, B patterns. So they kind of know the concept. This is a little bit different. So this is just what they will, um, these are some examples of patterns. And then in here, they'll make some patterns of their own. So they'll have their crayons and um, they can just, practice making, filling in the boxes with their own patterns. So you can show them they can make polka dots and they may need a little help get going, but they, they should get it pretty quickly. Um, and then you can also let them know they can use, since they'll be using colors, their patterns could be more similar to what they've learned in class of uh, an AB pattern um, or whatever other patterns that they've learned. So, so they can just make a few fill in the boxes with patterns and that will help them when they get to the project that they'll be more prepared to do that. So that would be the first part of this lesson. The next part will be they will use one of these fish, which I should have cut them apart. Um, so they'll have a fish like this and you're gonna have them do a different pattern in each of the different um, parts of the fish. Now, it might be helpful when you're doing this to remind them and even keep up the, the, art, the artwork that is used in this lesson, the one by Romero Brito. It's called LA Cat 1995, and it's a really excellent example of how this would work, and it would be really helpful to them. So, um, so you'll just do that. And you can even let them know it's fine to color in, you know, one of them or around the face solid too. That's fine. Um, and then in the others, they want to do patterns. So you could remind them they can do stripes, just simple patterns. They can do um, polka dots. So they're gonna fill in each section of this fish with different patterns. Now that we have the pattern all filled in, the next step they're gonna do is they're gonna cut out the fish. And it's kindergarten, so they're not gonna be perfect, but that's okay. And there will be a few students that might just need a little bit of help getting their fish cut out. It just kind of depends where at in the year you are. If you're close to the beginning of the year, sometimes they still really struggle with those scissor skills, but let them do it as much as they can. You just don't want to have any students getting really frustrated to where they're in tears or overly stressed out. So I try to kind of monitor how everyone's feeling. We want to make sure that it's fun and everyone is ending up with something that they are really proud of at the end. So now we have our so we've got our fish now and they're going to glue their fish onto their paper and they can do that so 
So you've got your fish all glued onto the blue paper so it looks like he's in the water. And then your next step is I have just some white and blue paint um, on a plate and they're going to use those different items you've used with that will um, stamp a ring. So they're gonna stamp with these and they're gonna use, so they're making another pattern. They're making a pattern of rings. So they're gonna um, dip in and they're gonna make, oh, that one's dirty, some different size rings. So they're gonna kind of look like bubbles. So there is your, this is what their finished product will look like. Um, they'll have learned what a pattern is and they'll have done some of their own patterns.